Hey guys, it is Thursday at 12.53, almost one o'clock. And uh, I'm getting a late start, but doing laundry. And we're gonna go to Elizabethtown, which is about 30 minutes from me, and maybe do a inside the dressing room at Lane Bryant and see what they've got new to try on and possibly purchase some items. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so we're gonna make a quick stop at the Dollar Tree and see, I'm looking for some flowers to go on my island. And uh, I'm hoping I can find some strands of some pretty flowers for springtime. I'm in the mood for spring. So if I wasn't a chicken, I would take you guys in there and show you around as well, but I'm too chicken. So just uh, stay tuned and I'll be back soon and we'll be at Lane Bryant. So there was a change in plans. Um, I did go into Lane Bryant and look around, but I didn't try anything on. I was looking at the prices and for a pair of jeans, $80. This girl can't do that. Which I did look at the clearance rack, the jeans and stuff. They had buy one, get one free, which was a good deal. But I wasn't looking to spend 30 and $40. So we went into Dress Barn because I've never been in Dress Barn before. And I tried on some cute outfits. So stay tuned and we'll get straight to it. This first item was in a 2X. And it was so soft. It felt so good on the skin. Wished it was a little bigger so it wouldn't show my lumps and bumps, but that's just my insecurity. So other than that, I thought it was a cute shirt. It was high-low. It was um, longer in the back than it was in the front. I loved how it come down and covered my belly. And it had the slit on the side. I think that makes anyone look th slimmer, but it was so soft. And I paired it with these leggings in a 1X. They were high rise, so they come way up above my belly button. And they were super soft. I just wish they would have been long instead of short. But it makes the buddy booty look good. But absolutely love these. This would look so cute with a pair of high boots. Black. This would make a gorgeous um, outfit going into spring. This next item was in a 16W. I could have went down to a 14W, but I felt like such a hillbilly in these jeans. They didn't have a whole lot of stretch, but they were too big. They were too wide at the bottom of the legs, and where I unrolled them, they felt too short. But they were comfortable, even though they were too big. But they had pockets in the front and pockets in the back. And they were high-waisted. But they were not tight on my legs at all. And I like tight-legged jeans. This next item I loved as well. It was super soft. Loved the floral pattern and the little knot detail in the front. It was a long sleeve, but you could push it up to be a three-quarter sleeve. But loved the floral pattern. It was on the front only. But it didn't cover my insecure area, so therefore I didn't want to buy this one. But it had the round neck, and it had this little piece on it that didn't want to stay down. So I didn't like that about it, but it was super soft. And to pair together, this outfit didn't look too bad. This next item I absolutely loved. It was so comfortable. The only drawback was it's a little longer than what I like. I like to show off my legs, so I like above the knee. This one come a little below the knee, but other than that, I absolutely loved it. It was soft, loved the floral patterns, and it had pockets. That drawed me in. It had pockets. I was so excited. And they were in the right area also to make you look slim down like that jean dress I tried on the other day. 
but loved this pattern, loved the length of the sleeves, and they didn't come too far below the armpit. This next item I loved. It was a romper pant set. So cute. It was so stretchy. Loved how the legs flared out. It was a little long, and I'm 5'4", but if you needed to, you could wear heels to take up, and it was the right length under the armpit, so it didn't show no bras. I absolutely loved it. It had a collar and the zipper in the front. It also had a zipper in the back to make it super easy to get in and out of, and it had a tie on the waist and it had elastic around the waist so it could cinch you in. Absolutely loved this. I'm not one to be comfortable to wear things like this, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Is this something that I should wear out in public? I have a black one just like it, so therefore that's why I didn't buy this one because I already have a black one, but I just don't feel comfortable. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you all enjoyed that short little video um, if you like videos where I lead up into doing inside the dressing room better than just getting straight to the point and doing inside the dressing rooms let me know below cuz I don't care which way I do it I just want to do it in a way that more people will watch and not get bored and stay tuned in to watch till the end. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether you like the short and sweet and straight to the point, or if you like what I do, a little bit of things, you know, building up into going into the dressing room. I haven't got too secure yet with the uh, being out in the open and videoing while I'm in a store, I haven't got that confident yet. Um, I hope to in the future because I want my channel to grow and I'm willing to do things to make my channel grow except show things that really has no place to be shown here um, on my channel. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below. And if you got any comments of some videos or some places you would like me to try on clothes, if your body is like mine, um, I'd be glad to do it if it's close to me or I don't care to drive 30, 45 minutes to get there. Um, but if there's anywhere that you all would like for me to go and do an inside the dressing room, just leave me a comment below. I, if I can get there, like I said, I don't care a bit to try it out. So otherwise, just subscribe, hit the notification bell down below, and give me a thumbs up and share, 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 share this video so I can get myself out there and be more known and get some more subscribers. And that's, that's my goal for 2019 is to get as many subscribers as I can possibly get. So until I see you all in the next video, bye guys.